Bite Squirrel here. So I've been squirreling away some aluminum components uh, all summer to use on various projects and melts and it doesn't look like I use as much as I thought I was going to. My plan was to get rid of all this before winter and winter is pretty much here. So might as well melt down as much of it as I can before I start bringing things in the garage for winter storage. Shouldn't take too long for this little stuff, right? All right, let's start off with the dirty stuff that fits in our large crucible. This is all the stuff with paints and maybe a little bit of fluid left inside that don't burn very cleanly. Still nice outside, so I'll take advantage of it, crack on my doors wide open and get rid of this dirty stuff first. Anxious to see how much this will turn into. Definitely not the color of flame you want to see while melting good quality aluminum. As fast as I can crush them and feed them in the crucible, that's as fast as they're melting right now. That right there is why I don't burn cans and thin scrap very often. Very dirty and a very small yield. So let's cool these down and weigh them up.
What a mess. So, about 20 minutes of burning, and all we get out of that is two pounds, nine ounces of usable aluminum. A lot of work, a lot of mess, a lot of uh, unhealthy smoke for such a small yearl. This is maybe enough for two projects, maybe three at the rate I'm going. So uh, this is why I don't tend to burn those scraps too much anymore. So that was number one of the garage clean out melts. The, I usually do the dirtiest and least favorable ones first. Next, we'll do the second worst ones, the dirty, grimy parts that are going to off-put a lot of smoke, but different kind of smoke. This one's going to need to be done in nice weather again with all the doors open and some fresh air going through with a respirator. So let's move on to that one. It's going to be a much better yield, and we'll see uh, how many different bars and maybe even make some aluminum shot with it. So stay tuned. We'll get at it shortly.